Hello my little buttercups, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill. Thank you for joining me today. I'm just, I'm just, I'm tired. I am tired and I'm just feeling a little bit, hmm. the clocks have gone back. It is, it's 20 past five. It's pitch black outside. Pitch black interesting i've just been feeling a little bit i don't know i don't know if the season's changing or what or it's getting cold or it's getting darker but like i'm just tired like it's five o'clock and i'm like i'm ready for bed me like i'm just knackered and i've also just been feeling i've had a bit of a headache today like i've just been feeling run down i'm looking at my face in the mirror i'm like wow uh, i've had spots come up i'm looking extra pale and pale and ill so i just thought emma you need to pamper yourself we need a good solid pamper session that's what today's video is going to be we're going to be you're going to come along with me whilst i pamper myself i have plans like i'm going to basically run you through like i'm going to wash my hair i'm going to exfoliate my body i'm going to shave i'm going to do like a whole hygiene beauty regimen i'm going to have a nice bubble bath after all of that i've got a lot of new products that i want to try so we can try them together talk about them let you know if they're worth it the price or whatnot um, yeah, so I just thought it would be a nice little cute vlog in the house pampering myself I actually just left the house before to specifically go to TK Maxx So I could buy some candles because I feel like I'm running out of candles and I keep a good A good stack on deck at all times of candles. So I need to go and get some new ones Um, so I also picked up other things because I can never just go to TK Maxx for one thing Like I always end up leaving with plethora of other things so i'll do you a little haul before we get into the little haul i just want to say that we do have a sponsor on today's video and that sponsor is bbc woo, woo, woo! every time i say that i'm like bbc sponsoring me we love to see it so i've been using the bbc iplayer and bbc sounds on my phone for a very long time now and particularly today i'm gonna to be watching a new series whilst i'm in the bath well, can I kind of talk? Whilst I'm in the bathtub having a bubble bath, I'm going to be watching this new series that I have been thoroughly enjoying. It is very su su suspenseful. Can I, I can't talk today. So recently I've been listening to and watching a bunch of things on BBC Sounds and the BBC iPlayer. In particular, I love to listen to press podcast on BBC Sounds. I also love to listen to the radio on BBC Sounds and different mixes they have. So they have like the one extra... Um, R&B chill mix on there. There's a Radio 1 relax mix. They're all sensational. And my auntie, I was with my auntie the other day and she even told me that she'd been listening to audiobooks on BBC Sounds. She listened to Pride and Prejudice and she said she'd been thoroughly enjoying it. But on BBC iPlayer, I have recently been watching A Killing in Tiger Bay. So I started it last night and okay, relax. And you know what? It's a, it's a true story about something that happened in night. The show is basically a true story that happened in the late 80s in South Wales about a murder that happened to a young woman there and basically how five local men from the area, five young black men from the area were framed as do for doing the murder when they never did it. And it's basically all about sort of the police corruption in South Wales at that time, the racial profiling, the racism, the sexism, the misogynism, all of that. And it's been really interesting the first episode. So I'm going to finish the other two today whilst I'm in the bath having a relax. But it's honestly a really good watch. And there's a bunch of other things that I've been watching on BBC iPlayer like Pose. I watch RuPaul's Drag Race religiously, the UK version on there. There is also Gossip Girl on there and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. There's just a bunch of things you can watch on there. So thank you very much to BBC for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much and I love your services and I love your shows and I love your podcasts and your radio. I love it all. So let me show you my little TK Maxx haul. This is the first bag, there's two bags. First of all, right, I've been thinking, I have this, um, ugh, Words are so hard for me today. I have this nightlight in my bedroom, but it's also a diffuser. My friends got it for my birthday last year. 
and it's just like i love it to put it on because it's like this big white ball and it's like a night light and it changes colors but at the same time it's a diffuser as well so i've been thinking i want another diffuser for like the living room i'm not bothered about it being a night light i just want to have nice smells because for a long time i was just using my diffuser as a night light or like a mood light but like I started using it again as a diffuser recently and I was like, I do like this and I should do it more often. So I've been on the lookout for a new diffuser for my living room. And I got this one, it was 20 pound, which I think is a pretty good price. And it's very like stylish. So the one I wanted for my living room was like more stylish. Like the one in my bedroom is just like a big white ball. Whereas this one I wanted to be cute. So this is what I got. Just like a me metal, no. It's like stone, ceramic. durable stone based compound so that's it and it's gonna whew, how am i gonna put smells in it <gasps> oh okay so i'm gonna get that set up and then we can have the whole house smelling nice i got sucked into the um i always look in the beauty section whenever i'm there and i honestly have some really good stuff in there but i just have too much stuff so i actually don't need anything but i did buy this sponge i bought this sponge and I bought a new loofah wherever I find it. But I've never had um I've never had like a big body sponge like this, and they always just look so nice and, and cozy. I feel like my nana used to have these when I was a baby, and my nana used to wash me with like stuff like this. What the frick is that? Get off now. So we have this. I feel like this, like with water and soap in it. Like, it's gonna be so like short. Then I got some chocolate because I thought, I was gonna go buy chocolate buttons, but whilst I was there, I thought I might as well get these and be bougie. So I got Lily O'Brien's Creamy Caramel and Sea Salt Chocolate. I've had these before and they're really nice, but I don't buy them because like, they're expensive. But today it's treat yourself. I got this for the fridge, because I've been trying to get more like, storage stuff for the fridge. Um, but it's all really expensive, so you know, just get a bit at a time. I thought I could put my grapes in this, or just fruit, or anything. Just like a top like this. I'm thinking I can whack some grapes in there. Cool. Can you see we haven't even got to the candles yet? This is ridiculous, right? Well, it's not ridiculous because it makes me happy, so. I basically, I always see these jars of candles in HomeSense and TK Maxx, and I think, so unnecessary but i love it so i've never got one because i thought it's unnecessary but then at the moment i've been using matches to light my candles and they when you light the match like it's running i'm having to use like three matches like the amount of candles i have because they get it gets like they burn quick and i'm nearly burning myself and thought Ugh. so when i saw this look how long these matches are i will be able to light every single candle in my house with this one match and it's got the on the bottom so that's going to be so good because i'll just literally need one match but make sure you hold it down here i don't want to waste it no don't do it ever but i will use it in this video looks like freaking pasta doesn't it it says a match made in heaven there's my loofah these are a new one of those Okay, let me get the other stuff out of the way before I show you the candles. So, I got some Bim Buddy because I needed some more of this and they don't sell it at the normal supermarket, I don't think. So I have to go to like um, Home Bargains to get it, but they had it at um, TK Maxx. So you put that in your bin, makes it not smell. They also had tons of Body Shop Body Butters. Like they had all the flavors. They had like the Argan Oil, Coconut, Strawberry, Mango, um, Rose. Other, like they had a bunch, but my personal favorite smell. I haven't had body shopping so long. Almond milk and honey. Like, I love the smell of this. They do this, but in like a moisturizer, like a thinner formula, and it's so good. Like, I love the smell of it. Uh, this is what it looks like. I've not had a, a body shop body butter in so long. I feel like this is a British institution. Like, every girl had a body a body shop body butter. So, yeah, almond milk and honey is my favourite smell. But they're, they're £8 in there. I don't know what they are usually priced at nowadays. It says RRP £16, but I don't know. Are they, are they £16? £8. £8 in TK Maxx. Love that. Okay, so I have been eyeing these up for the longest time ever. I have wanted some of these mugs for so long, but I couldn't justify it. I was like, I don't even have enough space on my shelves, blah, blah, blah. But I freed up some space the other day. And obviously, because I'm feeling sorry for myself today. When I was in TK Maxx, I saw them again. And I was like, Emma, it's now or never. You've been thinking about them for the past year. 
just buy them. But it's because they're 15 pounds for two, right? It's a bit steep, but I just know it's gonna bring me so much happiness. Like these stupid little things make me so friggin' happy. Oh, uh, you're gonna be excited, honestly. Some of you might already have some of these. This makes me so happy. So, it's a double walled mug. So obviously, like, you have a drink in, and it looks like that. And I know it's, it's a mug, it's a mug. I paid, I'm a mug. I paid about seven quid for that, one mug. But you don't understand how happy it makes me. I'm so happy. So I got two of those. And I've honestly been thinking about these mugs for a very long time. Now we have two, so you can have your tea in it, you can have your coffee in it, anything. It's just giving that Pinterest, Pinterest girl, that girl vibe. Okay, so I'm not into super sweet smells or super like, no, I'm, I like clean smells. I like, uh, in a way, a bit sweet, but like for my home, I just want nice, warm, calming <laughs> smells. So what we got was, oh, that don't sound good. Oh no. So they give you this big whole thing. These brands are having us over. Let's pretend that never happened. The candle were about that big, oh my God. This is why you should just make your own candles. And I have all the equipment to do it, so I don't know why I do it, but anyway. Anjou pear and jasmine. It smells good, I can't lie to you. But what annoys me about TK Maxx, like, TK Maxx, I love you, but why do you do this? These labels, there's no chance you can get them off. You have to scrub them off with a dishcloth. And then it's like, but then I'm ruining the candle jar. Do you know what I mean? Does my head in. Next, we got this one by Crystal Ball. Look how pretty the lid is. Look how pretty that is. And it's like, got little moons in it. So this is the Palo Santo smell. See, that's just nice and clean and fresh. Love it. Then we got Sand and Fog. This is my favorite brand at TK Maxx and Home Sense. They're just so good. This is the vanilla sandalwood candle. Mm, it's like warm, because sometimes some, some vanilla smells can be too sweet. It's like warm, but like mm, a little bit masculine. I like manly smells. Oh, and this one was a sweet one. This is mango tangerine. So I do like a fruity smell, but this isn't too overpowering. This is sand and fog as well. Look how pretty the lid is. But I always just throw the lids out because what do I need you for? Stunning. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrub off the labels and then we can go to the bathroom. Okay, so I laid out some of the things that I'm gonna be using. So for the shower, for the shower, I've got a couple of hair treatments. So I have the Shea Moisture. Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment for my actual hair, but then I also want to try out this scalp mask. Detoxifying Scalp Scrub by Grow Gorgeous. I'm going to try that out. Also, this Ren Body Scrub. I've never used this, but it looks beautiful. Also, we have some shaving foam, but I actually might just use this body oil. I think I'll probably use that, but I'll take them both in the shower. My comb, my razor. This is actually from Aldi, I think. Yeah, it's Lacora. So I like using men's razors. This is just from Aldi. Um, but my leg hair really doesn't grow that much because I was using my Philips IPL Lumea device. So I'm just going to shave my armpits and legs. My coochie cooch, coochie meow meow. I actually get that waxed. So I actually need to book in to get that done. But that's going to be, we're going to stay away from that. But I will use this on it. So I actually really want to try this. So it's basically a... It's a, called a VV Cream Gentle Exfoliator. So this is like a, a little coochie cream. A coochie exfoliator. So I'm going to use that. And then the other things I will use when I get out. So the lighting's not the best in my bathroom because 
it's like spotlights, I'd love to see them. But I'm gonna have a shower first because I I wanna be clean before I get in a nice bubble bath. My screen is like falling off my camera. I need a new camera. ASAP. I'm gonna use this. This is just like a body brush. I actually don't know. Like it's good for your body, but I don't know why. So I'm just gonna basically like brush my whole body before I get in the shower. Just a sort of, it's like a pre-exfoliation. I don't do this all the time, but you know, since we're pampering. Guys, if you know the benefits of these brushes, let me know. So I'm just gonna, kind of vibes, you know what I mean? I think it's for like circulation or something. Circulation, getting rid of, um, what's it called? That stuff that builds up. Lactic acid, is that right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I like it because it's like a nice little exfoliation. some food um whilst i'm just waiting for my hot water to get hot i really like my little shower i just had i feel very relaxed shall i run you through like what i thought of all the products i think i might do when i when i'm eating my food i don't know what to cook well actually i do know what to cook basically there's nothing in my house tomorrow is going to be food shop day so all i have is some chicken i have some chicken and i have some green beans and i also have microwave rice Uncle Ben's golden vegetable. But I also have noodles. So I'm like, do I just throw caution to the wind, sack it off and just eat noodles? No, I think I'm gonna cook the rice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cook the rice and I'm literally just gonna chop the chicken up and cook it in a pan with some seasoning because I can't be asked to wait around. I just want it cooked. And I'll do my green beans in a pan as well. I do them real nice, like with some garlic and some honey. Mm. So it's very simple. It's like a bit of a struggle meal, but we're gonna make it work. And then I actually do have ice cream in the freezer, so I might have an ice cream after. So I'll report back once dinner is cooked. This is my dinner, very simple. There's rice underneath, just some chicken and some green beans. I'm actually using my phone light to light this up. So I'm gonna eat this and watch my A Killing in Tiger Bay program on BBC iPlayer. And then we're having a bubble bath. Okay, I'm gonna use this as my bubble bath. Rituals, the ritual of Ayurveda. Wait, can I say this? Ayurveda, Ayurveda. I think it's Ayurveda. But this is a nice bubble bath. I actually got it at Vista Village a while ago. I'm also gonna put a bit of this in. This is by Dio Doc. This is a gentle bubble bath, so it's basically a bubble bath that has no nasties in that won't mess up your ph won't mess up the coochie meow meow and it's really good it has all good stuff in for your nether regions 
I'm also gonna put some CBD drops in here too. By the way guys, my bathrobe is from Christy Home. I got it a couple years ago and I love it so much. It's like a lovely waffle robe and it has my initials EH on it and these towels. These towels are engraved, they say EH. Um, they are also from Christy Home and this one. They do amazing towels, amazing bedding. Yeah, they're not super cheap, but like they last so well and the quality is amazing. So I'm about to get in my bath. I just have my brew here. I've lit my candle <laughs> that we got from TK Maxx. So let me talk you through the products I use and what I thought quickly. So this Grow Gorgeous Scalp Scrub, I actually really liked it. When I put it on, it was like kind of cooling and tingly. And it's kind of like, almost like a body scrub texture, like a salt scrub or a sugar scrub. And I just scrubbed my head with it. And my head did feel really clean after it. And I just shampooed my hair to get it all out. I really like this. I think I'll definitely use it again. Get all like the nasties and like the sebum and whatever off your scalp. Like if you get greasy hair, I would definitely recommend using some sort of scalp scrub. I've never used one before, but I liked it. This Shea Moisture um, Treatment. I've used this before. I do like it. It's like, it's almost not like a hair mask texture. It's not super like runny. It's like a thick, nourishing treatment. I like that. I didn't even put in conditioner after it. I just left that in for like 20 minutes whilst I would do my other things in the shower and then just wash it out. I do like it and it, a little goes a long way. Like I've still got loads of in there. And then I use this Ren body scrub. I really like this. It smells nice. It's sort of like a spa smell, but not too in your face. This, it was kind of weird though, because I expected it to sort of be, like a lot of body scrubs I've used, they're either super scrubby, like super sugary, um, and there's not much like moisturizing factors. Like some, some scrubs you use, like they're dead scrubby. Does this make sense? They're dead coarse but they don't have like that lotion or that moisturizing factor to them. And then some I've used are like super nourishing, sort of like a body moisturizer and scrub in one. This is like sort of a scrub and moisturizer in one. If you can see it in here, this is like the sort of, this is like the sort of texture of it. So like when you start rubbing it in, it's like a moisturizing milky kind of texture. But when you're wet in the shower and you use it, it kind of, it turns into more like a body wash with a little bit of a scrub. It's not too intense. I feel like if you used it on dry skin, then it'd be a lot more intense. But I do feel really soft after it. I feel like it really has like some nice oils in there and made me feel super soft, especially after I shaved my legs. Like my body was so smooth. But if you want a more intense scrub, I wouldn't go for this. I would go for something that is like more sort of sugary, with oil rather than like milky and moisturizing. But I do really like that. It's a nice gentle scrub. You could use that a couple of times a week. Then I use my little Foof exfoliator, my VV cream exfoliator. This is nice, super, super gentle. So if you're like sensitive down, well, everyone's sensitive down there, but obviously I just use it on like the top area, the little triangle. Um, it was nice. I have a matching cream to this that I'm gonna put on after the bath and we'll see how that is. This is my all-time fave. Like, I love this. The Palmer's um, Cocoa Butter Moisturising Body Oil. I just got this from the hair shop. Um, I love it. It's so multi multi-functioning. Like, obviously, I can use it in the shower. Just be careful if you're using this in the shower because the floor might get slippy and I don't want you to slip and hurt yourself. But it's nice in the shower. I can literally have... I could have put it in my bath. I might put a bit in my bath, actually. But this, I like to use this just on my body as well. And it just is beautiful. And then, obviously, when I got out, I just used the Show Moisture leave-in treatment 100% virgin coconut oil leave-in treatment it's a sort of like a leave-in conditioner but it's a spray version so obviously because my hair is quite light and it's quite um what's the word i have thin hair i have thin hair um so i don't like anything to overpower it so i use this but it like gets keeps it moisturized but it isn't too dense like isn't weighing my hair down so i used that i've not used it in a while so i might start using it again because my hair looks really not frizzy at all. I've had it in this claw clip for a while. When I get out of the bath, I'll take it out and we'll see what it looks like. And then I just use this Briogeo Curl Charisma Leave-In Curl Cream. Um, I sort of just put it in my hair, sort of like a moisturizing thing. I've sort of fell out of doing my curly hair, wavy hair routine. 
Um, I haven't done it in a while, but my hair is in really good condition, peak health, because I haven't used any sulfate, silicones, alcohols on it for like over a year now. And it's in amazing condition. It's growing really well and it just looks thicker and stronger and healthier. I think I sort of need to get back into my like curly routine. Like I'm not really putting much styling things in at the moment. I'm just sort of looking after the health of my hair. But let me know guys, if you want me to do like an in-depth hygiene shower sort of routine. Like if anyone wants to know my tips or my hygiene routine, I know that sounds crazy, but like I love watching those videos on YouTube um, of like people doing like their hygiene and stuff like that. If you want to see that, then let me know. My bathroom is literally not the best to film in at all. So if you want me to do that, I'll go and get a hotel for the night, hon. So I'll treat myself. So yeah, and then maybe I can do a little hair routine when I've got it more together. But I'm just going to get in my bath now, turn all the lights off. I might put some music on or something and just chill. An investigation, there was pressure. This all lies in there what happened. When asked for the verdict, the foreman said not guilty. I've been put in jail for two years for a crime I did not commit. Hi, I'm out. My toilet's been really loud and taking ages to fill, so you have to apologize. I'll have to apologize for that. You won't have to apologize. I'll have to apologize. Also, my camera is last leg, so I'm on my phone, so I hope it's not horrible. I'm gonna stand back so that I'm in like okay lighting. But I thought for our skincare, we would start off by, I have a few new gadgets that I want to use. So I got given this by Cult Beauty. This is a Derma Flash, like peach fuzz shaver. So I thought I'm going to shave my peach fuzz. It actually has like a roller ball on this side. So I might use that. But I've got these like globes for my face. I've just put them in the fridge so they can get nice and cold. I'm going to try this out. So it's like an electric sort of thing so like this is what it looks like and i press this button here and then it like is electric like vibrates i'm a little bit concerned about it i won't lie but all i can do is give it a go so i'm gonna shave my peach fuzz i think it's working so you can actually use this to like Trim your eyebrows too, but I won't do that because my brow girl will kill me. Leonie, if you're watching this, I'm not about to sabotage my eyebrows. But what I will sabotage is my moustache. So. Okay. That was cute. You definitely got some fuzz off. It actually tells you that you should change the blade every time you use it. So. Hmm. Usually, I'm not going to lie, I will just use one of these. I got these from Amazon, I think. And it is just a facial razor. So you just like, shum, 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 shum. It's basically the same thing, but this one kind of vibrates. Um, and it's, I guess, it's like cute and sleek and real adult and professional. There's not much of a difference. Whichever you want to use. But I think this will be good, like, to, to, to like, do your eyebrows. Um, probably be pretty neat, but I just refuse to do that because I'll mess it up. Um, I'm not someone that grows a ton of facial facial fair. I'm not someone that grows a ton of facial hair. So if if you grow a lot of facial hair, this could be useful. I'm not gonna lie. And I do like that it has the roller ball on this side that you can do whatever you please with. But that was cute to try out. Next, I also have this. I've got all the gadgets today, babes. This is from the same brand, which I didn't know, but I got given them both by Cult Beauty on separate occasions. So basically this, I don't know what this is called. Everything I use today, by the way, will be linked down below, but this is sort of like a, a device that is gonna extract dirt from my pores, from my skin. I'm extremely excited about this. It does have instructions, which I'll go and get in a minute. Oh my God, my peach fuzz is everywhere. But also you extract stuff, but then you can like, put your products in with it, like push them into your skin. So I'm gonna use this. I'm actually gonna um, wash my face first. Let's try out the Then I Met You Soothing Tea Cleansing Gel. Licorice root green tea, rice for men and PHA gentle facial cleanser. I'm gonna wash my face with this and then we can get into this. Oh, actually, do I need to wash my face first? Actually, let me get the instructions. 
It just says moisten skin with warm water. So I don't think you actually need to wash it first. It just says moisten skin with water. So let's do this first and then I'll wash my face. Hold skin taut with finger from opposite hand. Glide device gently over face and neck and extract debris from pores. I'm really interested in this. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay, let's put it on. It says keep your skin taut, but I'm trying to use the mirror at the same time. Oh, it's got an awful noise. Oh, it hurt my ears. Guys, why is there like steam coming off it? What is that? This is terrifying. Oh my God. Can you see that? Like the dirt and sebum. It's not tons and tons, but no, there's definitely dirt on there. And a bit of sebum. So, I don't know if I used it right. I feel like I did, but I'm not sure. Um, I feel like that is kind of worth it. Like if you're an oily, or oh, for sure if you're an oily person, because I have to actually have dry skin. So if you're an oily person and you get like a lot of build up on your face, sebum, whatever, I feel like that is actually really good. Might made probably an investment because these things are never cheap, but I feel like it's good. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face now I'm using this. Oh, it's this orange color. It smells very spa like. Mm, I quite like that. It's nice and thick, like a gel. Cute. I love to use these things when I wash my face. Duh. Basically just facial sponges because I hate to splash my face with water. I just don't like it. But I use these to take my makeup off too. They're like, these are a cheap ver version of the face halos. These are a cheap version of the face halos from Aldi. But I actually do have some proper face halos as well. But I just like, like these are from Skin Proud. I just like these like facial cloths, like the small ones or even you can get like the little sponges from Amazon. I like them too for washing your face. Mask wise, I'm gonna use this Drunk Elephant TLC Sakurai Baby Facial. So this is like an AHA, BHA face mask. It says next generation mask is an at home facial that effectively yet gently exfoliates the pore lining and resurfaces by getting rid of built up dead skin cells with a whopping 25% AHA, 2% BHA blend of our dream team with glycolic tartaric, lactic, citric, and salicylic acid. Never ever used this before. This is the bottle. It also came with a little baby um, marula face oil. I really like this oil from Drunk Elephant. I have my mask on now. It's like quite a weird um, texture. It's like a like a brownie colour and it feels kind of grainy and when I first put it on it kind of stung, but it did say that might happen. So I'm gonna keep it on for 20 minutes. Then wash it off. Hopefully it does somewhat good for these spots down here. I might have something that I'll put on them though when I wash this off. I'm eating my ice cream. I'm going to finish the final episode of Killing in Tiger Bay. So I'll check back in when I wash my mask off. Hi, it's been 20 minutes. I had my ice cream. This feels so like tacky and strange. Um, But let's wash it off. My skin feels very clean and clear and like all the dirt is out of my pores. So it recommends that I put on this facial oil after. Probably just to add some hydration and I love a facial oil. So this is the Marula oil by Drunk Elephant. I have these globes. These are by Dermalogica. They sent them to me. I love doing this. It's like nice. ASMR. So, oh my god, I've never used these before. Oh, it feels so good. I'm so relaxed. I'm just gonna finish off with some sort of hydrating cream or 
mask or something. My skin feels really good, I can't even lie. So, I'm going to finish off with this Laneige, if that's how it's pronounced, water sleeping mask. This is just like a gel kind of sleep mask and I just want to be hydrated because I do have dry skin. Let me take my hair down and see how it looks. Still very much wet. I'm going to leave it down to dry. The top is dry though and look, there's like no frizz at all. Like usually my hair gets really frizzy up at the top, but there's like no frizz. That might be because of the like leave-in that I've used or maybe just because I've used the, the scrub on my scalp. It could be a combo of everything or that I've done the treatment and it's just a lot more moisturized. I'm just gonna finish off for the night by moisturizing my body and then putting my pajamas on and getting in bed. First of all, I have the matching VV cream to the exfoliator. Beauty cream for the V, that's what it says. <laughs> Beauty cream for the V. So I'm gonna put this on my little, uh, I mean, it's not little. I'm gonna put this on my triangle, my, my pubic area, not, not the vulva, just the outside. So hopefully, you know, oh, it's kind of like a, this kind of texture, kind of thick, unscented, what we love to see. She feels so well looked after right now. To moisturize, I'm gonna use these two things. So I got this at an event a couple weeks ago. This is this is the um, Ameliorate, Ameliorate, Ameliorate Transforming Body Spray. This is from Look Fantastic. Um, this has basically got acids in it. It is a transforming body spray combines our insanely hydrating, powerful skin retexturizing formula with the ease of a 360 mist application. Optimum levels of lactic acid target hard to reach areas progressively refining through rough dry skin so it feels soft, smooth and healthy looking. So basically this is like a body, like moisturizer body mist, but it has like acids in so it kind of buffs off the dead skin and stuff like that. And I think it's good for me because I can often get, um, ingrown hairs on my legs and stuff and I get like strawberry skin on my legs so any sort of body products with acid in helps me so this is going to be good with the spray as well like you can just get it everywhere it's focusing mainly like on my leg area thighs butt everywhere and then I'm going to put my Brazilian bon bon cream in the other areas this just smells insane like I know it's expensive but a little goes a long way and it does just smell absolutely insane. This has got kind of a nice smell. Like, not, it's just, it's not like an over-processed smell, it's quite natural, but I quite like how it smells. I wait for my numbers, I wish I could call you up, this house you'd push your love on me. I'm about to sleep. Like, how glowy does my face look? I know it's a little bit red, but I feel like it looks super glowy. We'll have to see in the morning. My hair is drying nicely. Like, look, look at those little waves. The health of my hair is honestly, it's come on leaps and bounds. Yeah, let me know if you guys want that more in depth. Hygiene, hair, shower, routine. I'm literally about to go to bed. I'm just going to finish this final episode. Don't forget to check out BBC iPlayer and BBC Sounds for all your radio, podcast, TV show, movie needs. The link is in my description for you guys to go and check it out. So, yeah. And if you do watch something over there, let me know what you watch and how it is. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry I had to film a lot of it on my phone. I hope the quality wasn't rubbish. I'm going to get a new camera and we will figure it out together okay guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in a new video okay love you